Mom, you're making no sense. I can't save Cyrus. He needs blood. I'm a robot. I think your mom has finally cracked, Holiday. No, I'm just fine, Brinley. She knows, Dad? She knows. And it can work? What is going on? Mom? Holiday, I need you to come with me to the helicopter so I can prep you. Prep me for what? One more time, Mom. I'm not human. Does she even have blood? I guess I do, but... Wait. We saw you bleed after Cyrus pushed you off the Whittier Corp Tower. But I mean... It wasn't real blood, right? I don't know. I'm biological on the outside, but... You're more than that, Holiday. That blood in your body, not only is it real, it's a match to Cyrus. What? How is that possible? Dr. Whittier had one last secret to share before he died, and it changes everything. I don't understand what you're telling me, Mom. Dr. Whittier's last words to me were, Birdie is the lock, but Cyrus is the key. Cryptic much? What did it mean? I didn't understand what that meant, until now. Whittier gave Birdie a flash drive during the blackout. It had two files on it. One was his last will and testament. Where he left me, Whittier Corp. Wait, what? I know, major plot twist, right? But that's not the only big news. There's bigger news than a 10-year-old inheriting a giant multinational company? Believe it or not, there is. The other file on the flash drive contained information on a top-secret experiment Dr. Whittier started 14 years ago, right before he staged the plane crash. The year I quit Whittier Corp, when I was pregnant with Cyrus. Okay. Before I quit, I visited a Whittier doctor. She checked me out, and my baby too, and she took samples. Samples? From your baby? I thought it was routine testing, making sure everything was okay with the pregnancy. What was it really? According to that file, she was operating on Dr. Whittier's orders, collecting stem cells for the top secret project in that file. Stem cells? They're the building blocks of every cell in our bodies. The top secret project? It was me, wasn't it? It was the holiday project. That's right. We've known since New Orleans that you were a hybrid, part machine, part biological, but my DNA. My human side comes from Cyrus? Yes, Holiday. You and your brother are part of each other, literally. Like twins, sort of. Then I'm an Anders? For real? Holiday, how many times do we have to tell you? You've always been an Anders in our hearts. We've been trying to tell you that all along, kiddo. I don't know what... (laughs) I've missed you. Come here, sweetie. Welcome home, Holiday. Yo, I'm an Anders too. Let me in. Come here, Birdie. (laughs) I'm so sorry I left. You had to get answers. But when I think about how much I hurt you guys... Holiday, I've told you since day one, you're my daughter. You'd be my daughter even if you didn't have Cyrus's blood running through you. My love for you is the only proof I've ever needed to know we belong together. And we're never letting you go again. Mom. Dad. Shh! Stop all that crying, Casey! I'm not crying. You're crying. It looks to me like you're both blubbering. So can she save Cyrus or not? Like I said, kids aren't allowed to donate blood. But Holiday's not just a kid, is she? She survived a fall off a building. And floating in the icy water. No. I think she'll be just fine helping her brother out. Really? Come on, Holiday. Let's go save Cyrus. Wait for me! Casey, should we... Let's give them a little room. That's what I was thinking. He's gonna make it. Yeah. Oh. A hug. Casey! Brinley! Uh, Um, are you guys hugging or fighting? Neither! Badger, where have you been? Looking for Adam and Angela. I'm not sure who's worse. Definitely Adam. No, definitely Angelica. Let's call it a draw. With any luck, one of the animals got that witch. She'd probably be better off than if Adam finds her himself. So, Adam, you're a lot further along with your robot army than we thought. Impressive, right? Quite. Unfortunately, now that you've seen it, you're going to have to go the way of your old boss, Dr. Whittier. It's funny. 
He's gone, and yet it's as if he's still controlling your every move. I killed J.P. Whittier. He has no control over me. But your hatred of all things Whittier, that was all programmed into you, wasn't it? My choices are my own. Of course. Just curious, these bodies, they don't have brains, do they? At least not yet. Not like yours. What's your point? I found Cyrus's notebook. So? So it contains the blueprints for the Holiday Project. Isn't that how you plan to bring these empty soldiers to life? I have Cyrus himself. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Cyrus was involved in a terrible accident. I have no idea if he even survived. I don't believe you. Okay, don't. Kill me. You'll be left with this warehouse of useless shells and no way to program them to help you take over the world. Where's the notebook? I hid it. I'm the only one who knows where it is, and I will let you kill me before I tell you that. So, what? I let you go, you hand over the notebook, is that the deal you're trying to make? I don't want you to let me go, Adam. Just the opposite. I want us to put our differences aside so we can work toward a common goal. Becoming the most powerful force on Earth. You want us to work together to finish building the army? I think we'd make a fabulous team. But first, there's still something in our way. We have to make sure the Anders family never leaves this island alive. On second thought, I'm liking this partnership already.